Hey guys, how's it going? Gabriel Aguiar here and today we are going to have a quick overview of how the laser beams work and how you can customize them to your own needs. This is a package that comes with 9 laser beams prefabs. It's available in the asset store and in my Patreon as well and the links are in the description. So let's see how this works. And as you can see, all you have to do is drag and drop the prefabs on the scene just to get started. And as soon as you do it, you will notice that each laser in the inspector has two scripts. The first one, the laser script, basically controls every aspect of the lasers, like the fire point, the maximum length, the grow wide, the grow speed, etc. I'll explain everything in a couple of moments. And the second script, the particle system controller controls the size of the other particle systems, their speed, their color, and if they are active or not. And this happens because the lasers are line renderers, basically, while the other effects are done with particle system. And that's why we need a script for the lasers and a script for the particle systems. And for the laser to work, it needs a couple of things. The first thing it needs is a list of lasers, which are the line renderers. After that, we need to tell the laser which camera the ray is going to be calculated for collisions. So, for instance, if you want to use the lasers for a first-person view game, you can simply switch the camera with the one used in first-person view, like this. Assign this gun as the fire point and that's it. You can now shoot lasers in a first-person view. And then, you can control the maximum length of the laser. In case it doesn't eat anything, this is going to be the maximum length. And the grow white is how much it will overgrow in the beginning. This parameter will add some extra white when the laser is shot. The grow speed is the rate at which the grow white expands every time the laser is fired. And then we have the shrink speed, which is useful in case we want the laser to shrink faster than it grows when we release the fire button. And the disable delay is how much time the laser will keep shooting after we release the fire button. Trail interval is really useful to decide if you want to have a continuous trail or if you want to add some interval so you don't overdraw the same texture. The end visual effects parameter is all the particle systems that are at the end of the laser, basically at the extremity of the laser, and will make contact when it's eating something. The particle system visual effects parameter it's all the other particle systems that are part of the laser and don't need to be at the end. So it's basically the ones in the beginning and in the middle. And the trail visual effects is the effect that leaves a mark of the laser when it hits something. Basically it leaves a trail behind and it's separated from everything else. Now this particle system controller script contains all the particle systems that are part of the laser. And if you press play, we can easily change their size. Let's make it double. You can press the refresh button. And we can set it back to its default size, which is 1. We can do the same thing for the speed. We can make it quicker. Or we can make it slower, like this. And in case there is any lights or trails, we can directly choose to turn them off or on. We can also change the color, which is basically what I've done here. As you can see, I created a green and red version of this blue one. And the laser script also updates the color of the line render according to this script. And in case you want to turn off any particle system, you should do it here. It lets you decide if you want a lighter or heavier laser in terms of performance. And it's also really easy to choose what you want in the laser. 
But for example, if you want to turn off the distortion or the dark part of this laser, you can do it here. And that's it guys, I hope this explanation was useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.